guys, I gotta be real quiet about this. I just got my shipment in from my secret source, and uh, I've only got part of it unboxed, and you're the first to see it. Well, I, I, I don't understand. I just turned my back for a second, and it's gone. Well, who, who took it? Who took the toilet paper? Okay, I'm gonna open the other box and uh, show you what I got there. Okay, this is only one package, but I got many more. And uh, these are the big rolls of paper towels. So I'm going to show you one more thing. Okay, this is ridiculous. Now, who took the other roll of the paper towels? The paper towels are gone. I can't believe it. They were here a second ago. Now everything's gone. So, guys, if you really want to throw your money away without getting in a fight, this is what I suggest you do. This leaf here is from a weed that we grow here in Arizona and it was called by the prospectors and uh, some of the mountain men up here it was called Indian toilet paper. It's velvety smooth and it grows in abundance just all over the mountains up here. So this is an Arizona item that I'm fixing to sell and I'll tell you what for a mere two dollars a leaf you can have all of this you want and I guarantee you you'll get it just as soon as we can get it harvested and you can have all you want and without getting in a fist fight so there you have it okay guys I just wanted to say something here I'm not making light of the coronavirus it's a very serious virus that can affect uh, especially older people and my point of this video is the stupidity of some of the people that are just tearing up the stores stocking up two year supplies of toilet paper, paper towels and Kleenex. Uh, the shelves are empty. Went to Walmart yesterday and people were getting in fist fights over toilet paper. Saw one lady that had nine packs of toilet paper on one nine pack but she had like six of them in her cart. That's a two year supply of toilet paper. What is wrong with us? You know, we're in Arizona. Arizona has 12 confirmed coronavirus people that actually have it. Or they have the symptoms and they've been tested and they tested positive. So now the people from Phoenix are coming up to where I live, going in our Walmart store, up here and just raiding the shelves. They're, they're, now they're taking the canned goods and, and everything. Talked with some of the people at, at Walmart who were stocking shelves. They can't stock it quick enough and now their suppliers are unable to keep up with them. What is the matter with us? Twelve people in the whole state of, of millions? I, I don't understand the fear and impact that, that, that's going through these people's mind. So I'll tell you what, here's what I'm going to do. Don't go to eBay to get toilet paper and paper towels. That's part of my video. Okay? There are different things you can look at. Uh, you know, there's all kind of paper products, and I don't know, if you're substituting paper towels for toilet paper, that's a really, really bad idea and painful. Don't do that. But if you go to another section of Walmart, over by the automotive, there's a section for RVs. And guess what they have there? They have special toilet paper for RVs. Don't tell anybody. Just go get some if you need it. If you're going to be out in a, in a week or two, go get some there. And another place to really go is RV dealers. Most RV dealers have a store inside that sells all the accessories for the RVs they sell. And guess what they have? They've got RV toilet paper. They've got RV paper towels. Anything that's disposable that's going to go in your tanks and your RV, they've got it. So those are just a couple ideas. And before I would use paper towels in place of toilet paper, I think I would use napkins or paper napkins. There's some really soft paper napkins. Get those. And now, probably by the time this hits, that'll be gone too, because they're just raiding the stores. 
And like I say, I'm not for, in any way saying that this virus isn't serious. It is deadly serious. But what we're doing is really not smart. And I don't know why we're having years and years of supplies of this stuff. If the world comes to an end, guess what? You ain't going to eat it anyhow. It's going to be too late. So just something to think about, guys. Is before you go raiding Walmart and Safeway and Kroger's and every store there is and, and cleaning their shelves, all you're doing is making the suppliers really rich. And you're not helping yourself out at all. So and that's just my opinion. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. As usual, thanks for watching.